Desiree here. So I want to talk about an I statement and what that is. So when we are using an I statement, it actually looks like this. When you do blank, and we're talking about the behavior here, um, I feel blank. And we want to insert a, be, uh, a feeling word here. And then we want to ask for a request of the behavior to change. So in the future, I would like for uh, whatever to change, okay? So we want to focus on the behavior of the other person, not the personality of the other person. So when you raise your voice to me, or when you talk down to me, or when you call me names, we are looking at the behavior of the other person. And then you're going to tell them how you feel about that behavior. So you want to insert a feeling word. We want to make sure that we're avoiding the trap of focusing on the behavior here. We don't want to say you are selfish. I feel that you are selfish. That's not a feeling word. So when you leave the dishes in the sink, I feel frustrated or I feel angry or whatever feeling word you're having. Or when you raise your voice to me, I feel threatened or I feel fearful um, so we want to make sure we tell them how the behavior is affecting our, our emotions, our feelings. And then we're going to ask for the change. So going forward, I would appreciate it if you would not raise your voice to me, or I would like your help. And maybe we can come up with a compromise of I do dishes one day and you do them the next. Or if you're working all week, I'll do the dishes during the week and you can do them on the weekend. We want to come up with some sort of behavior change that we would like to see. We can't just tell them, oh, I don't like what you're doing and this is how it's making me feel because they don't know what it is that you want them to do instead. So you have to put in the ask.